For this tutorial, we are going to be looking at how to correctly add a first person player or a first person shooter FPS uh, into a scene. Uh, what happens a lot of times when you put the, when you drop the first person uh, player onto a scene, or in this case into a terrain, it may not be looking where you want it to set up. It may not be set up. Uh, the camera within the FPS is not set up correctly. So I'm going to show you how to uh, correctly set that up. Okay. All right. So first of all, uh, you need it to have downloaded the standard asset assets that you can go to the assets store and uh, type in standard assets and download that. Uh, won't go through that because you can do that on your own. Okay. So anyway, so once it's downloaded, uh, we'll, you know, you'll be in your scene and then you're going to first add your FPS. So I'm going to look for that and in, the, in my standard assets folder, it's going to be under characters. So I'm going to open it up. I'm going to select first person character and I'm going to go to prefabs. So you'll notice we have the FPS, first person shooter controller. So what I will do, let me zoom out here. I will put it in this corner and then theoretically what I want it to do is to be looking out towards the mountains, right? So if you'll notice, I'll click and drag it right at this corner, right? Of, you know, the beginning of the game or the train or something like that. And you'll notice the that the field of vision is facing out towards space basically. Now if we go to the FPS controller and then click the downward arrow and then click on the first person character which is actually your camera, you'll notice that it is looking out into space. If you look, go to the game tab which is what the user would be um, looking at. Uh, by the way, I'm going to click and maximize on play. So when I hit on hit play, and maximizes my screen and notice I'm looking out out there now obviously I can just turn around and then walk towards the terrain or where it is uh, that I want to start so but I don't I want to set it up so that it's looking straight at the mountains right from the beginning okay so I'm gonna uh, quick the play here I'm gonna do control P or command P uh, I'm going to click on back, uh, click the FPS controller. I'm going to zoom out. Let's go to the scene here. So again, here is a scene where I had already zoomed out. And you'll notice my field of vision is, here's the field of vision. So you can see it right here. It's at 60. Notice I can change it there. I'm just going to leave it at 60 though. Oops. So, but I want it to rotate uh, the camera towards, um, again, towards the uh, mountains. Now, the first instinct is to select the first person character and then go to your rotating tool, right? And then rotate it. But this is where you can get in trouble. Now, once you rotate it, so this is the way not to do it. So you're facing it, right? And you saw earlier uh, when I I moved it to, when I moved, um, you know, I had a, well, when I moved it, I moved it by using the uh, arrow keys or the WAS key. Okay, so now I rotated the, the first person character. Now I'll go ahead and play. Now it's looking at the, uh, the mountain the way I wanted to set it up. I didn't have to rotate it or anything like that in the play mode. So I'm in the play mode now, as you can see. So now, as I go use my forward key, or the W key, notice it goes back. And then I use my back key, and it's kind of going off in an angle, actually. And I use my, I'm going to use my uh, A key or to go to the left. And notice it's kind of going to the right, and so on. So it's set up incorrectly. All right, so get out of the play mode there. So what I will do is I will undo that. So it's facing the other way again. So notice if I go into play mode and I'm 
I'm going to rotate with my mouse and I'm going to go forward, goes forward using my four keys. If I go left, goes left, if I go right, goes right, if I go back, goes back. Okay, so that's how it's supposed to be in terms of the camera setup with the uh, FPS controller. Now, if you can't undo this, by the way, if you accidentally do that, just, you know, delete this and just drag it up in there again. All right. So anyway, I just already have it in place. So as I said, what I want to do is actually rotate the FPS controller, not the first person character. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. But notice we can see the field of view and we can rotate if we want. But, you know, so you can zoom out a little bit, right, or a lot. But basically you can see the field of view uh, where it is. And then we're selecting the FPS controller, not the first person uh, uh, characters. And if you do that, you're seeing the camera preview. We want to select that here. So notice I'm going to rotate first person controller. I'm rotating it. And now, notice my field of view is set towards the mountain terrain, okay? And then if I select the first person character, then I can see that it's there. So maybe I'll come back over here, rotate a little bit more, and set it that way. Now, there's another way. I'm going to undo that. Okay. Uh, one, the other way is just to have the game view right next to the scene view. So I'm going to dock this. Either I can dock it on the top right here, like that. Or I can dock it over here on this, on this side. So either way, if you prefer. So um, let's go ahead and do it this way. So now I'm in the, in the game view, or I'm in the scene view, and then I'm selecting the FPS controller. And then I'll rotate, oops, wrong axis. Make sure you select the correct axis. And so you see now I can just rotate it. And at the same time, I can see uh, what the game, the player would be seeing. So remember, I'm rotating the FPS controller. Notice this is highlighted. And now I can see it. Okay. So if I go into the play mode, command P goes into the game mode and now if I go forward notice I'm using the uh, W key go to go forward or the uh, up arrow key if I go left the A key or the left key uh, arrow key if I go right back and so on so it's all working correctly all right so either way you can do it um, and then you could if you don't like this right here you can always just put it back all right. Oh, one more thing before I forgot. <laughs> uh, you'll notice that we have the audio listener here. Now, watch or listen to. There's supposed to be footsteps going uh, uh, going on as when we move in in the game um, in the game mode, right? Or play mode. So notice when you're not hearing these footsteps. Reason is because there are two audio listeners in the scene. So when we added the the SPS controller, remember it comes with a camera. So what we need to do is turn off, get rid of the camera. One of the things to do is we can just get rid of the camera. We're not going to, if you're not going to use that extra camera, if you are going to use that extra camera for multiple, uh, multiple camera setup, uh, you can turn off the audio listener. Okay. And, and then, uh, so now watch when we go into the play mode. So I selected the main camera, as you can see, turned off the audio listener. You'll notice in the first person character, uh, which is the camera, as a, as, a, as a camera basically, I leave that audio listener on. So there's one audio listener on. So now I'll go into my play mode again, and notice you hear, heard the footsteps, right? You see? There you go. Uh, 